Hello everyone, this is Sam from Card Legion. Uh, today, it's a special day. It's a special day because I've been waiting to see a card like this for a while. And it takes people that have passion, that love cars, to do something like this. Um, we like modifying cars, we love working on them and that, but few people can actually get that perfect uh, car for themselves and uh, I drove all the way from Toronto to drive this beautiful 2009 Nissan 370Z My favorite cars. I used to own a G35 V6 back in the days loved it very good car strong well-built um, Japanese um, Really nice car. So I drove all the way from Toronto to meet with my good friend Raddy here with his 2009 uh, Nissan 370Z appreciate for allowing me no to drive problem, Sam. this no beautiful problem. car this monster it sounds unreal it sounds unreal now what I do usually is that we talk about the car while we're driving but because there's so many things done to this car that I want to stop and recap everything and then you know show you guys a little bit more in the video what exactly has been done to this vehicle since he bought it the story and all that and then we're gonna take it on the road for a test drive it's, as I said, it's one of my personal favorite cars and I could not wait. I had a couple of cars waiting today, my apology guys, um, but I had to do this because of the work that has been done and I wanted to meet the guy himself that did this and I appreciate it. So Reddy, let's start a little bit about the story, where did you get the car, how do you, how do you, how do you start it? So, you know, a couple of years ago I was looking into buying a sports car okay. and got on Kijiji like everybody else, you know, and started looking and test drove a few of them and the 370C really caught my eye. Yeah? Yeah, and that's how it all started. And how did you decide I wanted to modify it? Just like you woke up one day uh, and like... You know what? I started driving the car. I loved it. And then slowly, slowly, I started buying parts. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, you know what? I love this thing so much. I'm going all out with it. <laughs> so I went all out with it. You've done amazing work. Thank Congrats. You, my it's Thank really, you. really good. So how long have you had the car for? About four years now. Four years yeah. now, right? Yeah. So, okay, let's start with the outside. What have you done to the outside part? Like so, the exterior, exterior, everything is carbon fiber. The hood. Everything? Everything. So, the hood. Oh, that's a lot uh, of weight fenders, reduction. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. At least two, three hundred pounds. Oh, yeah. Really? The, oh, yeah. It's a hood, fenders, uh, bumpers, wing, and skirts are all carbon fiber. Okay. What kind of rims and tires we run on this? The rims are Forrester rims. Forrester, okay. Yeah, 10 inch in the front, 11 in the back. Okay. Okay, the tires that are on them are 275 in the front, 275, 35, 19, and the rear is 305, 30, 19. Amazing. Okay, let's go to the interior part. The steering wheel, uh, is this custom? Again, custom carbon fiber steering wheel. Okay. Straight from California, you know. And the uh, interior, I changed all the gauges, you know. Yeah, I can see. You know, and uh, the seats as well. You know, the factory yeah. seats weren't doing them because, you know, I'm all over the, the place. Corner, yeah, 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 you I know understand. what I mean? I, so, I find them very helpful on the corner yeah. as well. Even mine that is not even modified is stock and it has sports seats. It feel very comfortable when you go into corners. That's, that's amazing. What do we have for suspension? Suspension, so... Everything is SPL, titanium suspension. So front camber arms, rear camber arms, okay. all the trailing arms, all the bushings in the car, including the diff bushings, all SPL. The best of the best okay. for this car. Amazing. And what about braking system? Uh, the brakes are all the still in AP radicals, uh, six pistons in the front, four pistons in the back, 15 inch rotor in the front, 14, uh, 14 and a half in the back. Wow, that's insane. Is uh, the wing carbon fiber as well? Oh, right? yes, yes. The wing is carbon fiber carbon as well. Fiber. Yes, it looks yes. really nice Thank in this car. Very Thank tasteful. Um, let's go now to the best part, to the heart, to the engine. T talk to me. What has been done to the engine? So the engine is a 3.9 liter. Board, stroked, uh, waste conditioned, uh, uh, sorry, pistons. Uh, um, I did the OEM uh, rods. Um, uh, no, no, sorry. I did the K1, um, K1 rods, waste co pistons. Everything has been built as a 3.9, so board, Stroked. Uh, uh, I did um, what? Did I, I did all and brand new oil pump. So I rebuilt the engine from scratch. It's almost a four liter now. It's not a wow. three point seven. Yeah, that's amazing. What are the specs? Can you remember? <laughs> so the specs, you know, everything is like, are you talking about the engine or the, the twin engine. turbo? The engine. So it's a 3.9, like I said, liter. It's bored, it's stroked. I have waste co dish, uh, waste co pistons, K1 uh, rods in it. Uh, everything is built except I'm using OEM bearings in it. Okay, that. have you done a dyno on the car? Yes, the, the dyno makes 680 wheel horsepower on pump gas. 680 wheel horsepower. And that's on pump gas because you need to, you know, I need to of run course. the car every in the summer daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And the actual engine, how much horsepower does it produce? On pump gas, 800. On wow. E85, That's it made 950. V6. On E85, it made 950. That's amazing. I mean, they're still big and, you know, the GTR uses a V6 as well. Yeah, so yeah. you can expect some uh, crazy powder out of this thing. It's really interesting. As I said, I used to own a G35 myself and I and I loved it. And that car came with like 300 horsepower, just stock. And it was my first Japanese car. And because I've always owned BMWs all my life and I've loved and Alpha as well. But this thing, and a Mercedes, I did once. Um, but this thing, I just fell in love with it. I love the build, I love the engine, I love everything about it. <laughs> Are we missing anything? Do you want to well, add something? Well, the twin turbo, the twin turbo, that's okay. an AM competition. So it's uh, Borg Warner turbos. Okay. They spool extremely quick. At 2000 RPM or 2500, you're already at full boost. So you don't feel any lag whatsoever. 16 PSI, I did all, I did the twin pump, fuel pump in the tank. Okay. Okay, I did the, the rails, the lines, the 1000 cc injectors. Um, uh, I did everything, uh, of course, a twin uh, disc clutch and a three and a half inch exhaust, uh, straight pipe. Okay. Everything you need for the twin turbo build, I did at the same time. Jesus, you have done a lot of work. How long did this take for? It took about two and a half years wow. to get all this going. Worth it? Absolutely. Definitely worth it. Definitely <laughs> worth it. I see the attention. Uh, we're actually uh, shooting the video around here and people are just stopping just to see the car. It's, it's insane. Um, I think it was worth coming at this, uh, it's almost minus two today here um, in Kitchener, Ontario. It's insane. Uh, I, I just couldn't wait. I just not wait. I woke up early, drove all the way from Toronto just for this. The other thing I want you guys to know is that this car is actually on sale um, and I'm going to uh, post it on my um, website, samcarlegion.com. Uh, and I'm going to add the link in the description box. If someone is interested to purchase this vehicle, you can contact the owner. You can go from there. For today, we're just going to do a video and take it for a test drive. Stay tuned. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Should we keep this here? Yeah, anywhere you want. Well, how is the reverse on this the Reverse, thing? so yeah, you clutch in, it's down. And no, other way, so this way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. The clutch is not bad. It's, it's It takes a little bit to get used to, you know What's, what I mean? Yeah, I, I imagine that. The like it's trying its best to hold 700 horse, 800 horsepower, you know what I mean? So it's... <laughs> Have you uh, changed the clutch? To oh, it's a, oh yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an S, um, S spec twin disc clutch. Okay. It's a twin disc, you know what I mean? Twin and disc. Yes, and it's uh, the clutch itself was uh, two thousand dollars. That's the only clutch I could hold the power properly and maintain the drivability on the street. You see, when I was building this car, my first thing I was going for was drivability on the road. I did not want just a lot of power that I can't use. I needed to be able to use the power. So when I built the car, the, when I built the car, I made sure that all the power is usable. Sam, you can the advanced traction control, so you can hit it. Okay. Once you hit that button, then the advanced traction control kicks on. Right Where now, it's factory. It? Okay. It's right there on the side over there. Oh, there you VDC, go. VDC, yeah. VDC. Yeah. See, it does its best to keep, <laughs> hold it down. See that? That's the ECU tech traction control. I have that package on the on the ECU. You know it. <laughs> This thing can pull. Damn it, Jesus! And you know what I noticed with uh, with this car? It's like first thing, it's not rattling. It's not doesn't make weird noises. I've driven a lot of modified cars, but they rattle a lot. This thing is like very. I mean, it is loud, like yeah. <laughs> but it's really solid inside. I love it. The, Holy! The God. tires in the front are so big. They're 275, so they catch all the imperfection in the road. You know what I mean? That's the only thing. So. For the street, maybe go to a smaller tire if you want, but I like the big look of the tires. You know? Jesus, this thing pulls a lot. Yeah. That's amazing. Can we go on this side now? Uh, you know what? You probably yeah. Turn, I don't, let's turn around. Yeah, go ahead. It's probably the clutch takes a little bit to get used to. You yeah, know what I mean? Well, it's a, with every car, right? With every car, it does it, it does a little bit of shatter. Yeah. Nothing crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, like you can still drive it. You can still have a normal conversation in the car. You know what I mean? And <laughs> I wait for these days for these kind of cars to come along. I, as I said, I could not wait. 
I could not wait. Okay, let's just wait till this car goes. Yeah. Kit, but they're Steel. called AP Racing Cals. It's AP Racing Crowns what made the calipers. But they're Jeez. strictly for still and strictly for the 370Z. Wow, let's just turn it around. I gotta go one more time. Yeah, but for no problem. After How you. do you sit at home with this thing, like not taking for a drive every day? You know, like I mentioned, <laughs> Sam, honestly, my intention, I did not build this thing to sell it. The only problem is uh, we had an unfortunate family accident last year. My wife had a miscarriage. And this year, she finally gave a birth to a healthy boy. So I don't have any time for the car. But believe me, every time I look, every time I leave my house and in and out, I have to look at it. I have to look at it. <laughs> Damn, this thing can pull, man. Have you raced the car in a racetrack before? You know what? I, in the States, um, with AM competition, they were building it. They ran it, I think, and they ran, because it was street tires, they ran 11 second quarter mile. But they were street tires, they were spinning half the way, you know what I mean? With, if you can put the power down, you can get this thing in the nines. Jesus, this thing can eat anything. It's it's very solid, I like that. And it's it, solid built, yes. It's solid built. You have done amazing work to this. Thank like, you. I really, really love the car, man. I told you, you are able to use this everywhere, you know what I mean? You can, like, it doesn't matter how bad the road is, the car has set height and set functionality that you can drive this car every day and even if you're crazy, you can put winter tires on driving in the winter. It's, I, Jesus man. Ready? You've built a monster. Thank you, you have built a monster. You know what, next time I, I decide to do a modification or, you know, modify a car, I'm gonna call you. Okay. Because you got some crazy car here. There you go. I just gotta get used to the clutch on this thing. Yeah, it's... I love the, uh, the cluster, I love all the... Little, you have the RPM tag right in front of you, you know? Yeah, you can see everything yeah, here. Yeah. Here, uh... In the middle of the winter. Wow. So it's a it's it's very, very well built car, very reliable car, believe it or not. For an eight hundred horsepower, it's as reliable as it gets. I, I love uh, the, the the car, it's it's uh it's pretty solid. When you drive it, as I said to you, many modified cars they have rubbing uh, tires on the fender uh, and a bunch of other stuff and I, it really uh, bothers me. This thing, it's like you don't feel a rattling, you don't feel anything. How many kilometers do we have in here? Well, on the, on miles? the uh, almost 100,000 kilometers on the body, but everything else has less than 10. Yeah, everything so you've else. upgraded everything. Yeah. I want to enjoy this car for another test drive and I don't want to talk, I just want to drive and see all these beautiful things in front of me work. Um, it's amazing what you have done to the car. Guys, I appreciate watching the video. I appreciate Raddy bringing the car, letting me drive the car. It's not easy for some people to let someone else drive a car, but I really appreciate it. It's a trust given on me, and I don't want to abuse that. But I, I really enjoy it, and I'm very lucky to meet people like you on this. Uh, don't forget, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. And at the same time, if you are interested in this vehicle, you can see the link in the description box, or go to my website, 
www.samcarlegion.com or you want to see some uh, photos of the car we took some amazing shots today because it's really foggy outside here in uh, Kitchener and uh, you can go to my Instagram Sam Car Legion and you can follow me there too for today we thank you for watching the video and I thank Reddy for bringing this beautiful You're Nissan welcome, my friend. 370Z I really appreciate it. thank you so much guys thank you have a great day guys bye